What is up? I am back. I am playing Mage Mountain today. So this game is a roguelike deck builder that came out around December of last year or January of last year. Uh, I don't know exactly. Let me double check. Yeah, November actually. So it did come out at the end of the last year and it's very like hidden gem type game because there's only two seam reviews on the game maybe uh it will be great maybe it will be needs improvement i th probably will need improvement because it's still an early access so always early access games uh pretty much need improvement if they're perfect in early access man that is really really surprising but it's ten dollars. Uh, it's not that bad of a game price game, and it's a roguelike deck builder, one of my favorite genres of roguelikes, which uh, is similar to like Slay the Spire. It looks like. All right, I would like to butt in here that uh, I was given a review copy for this game, and I reached out to the developer to get the key from them, and they gave me a copy. And I really do appreciate it. But I'm not being paid for this review or video at all. Uh, this is all my first impressions of the game. And hopefully you do like this video. Uh, and we'll just give it a try. So let's jump into the video. Alright. Dear member of the Arthurian Guild. It appears that your leader and two senior guild members have set up camp on Mage Mountain where they are summoning Deonomic Beasts. Deonomic Beasts. What? To wreak havoc upon the kingdom. Arcane Guild. Alright. They are slay slaughtering villagers and are heading for the king. We ask of you, of your expertise, to help us bring an end to their region of terror. Those of you who succeed shall be granted rewards. Sincerely, the Royal Guard. Alright. So we got tasked from the Royal Guard to actually help uh, out and kill some people. Alright, let's go. It's already backstory, nice. All games have backstory, so that's pretty cool. And then uh, these are some like scroll things. Apply 45 fire. Apply 11 static. I think that's in a lightning or something. It's a pink lightning thing. Probably the lightning. Or static. Apply static. Okay, yeah. So it's lightning pretty much probably paralyzes the people apply 14 ice with a little ice symbol and then we have zero gold hp is 30 items uh i don't have any helmet or amulet or ring right now uh skills melee projectiles defense destruction alternization don't know exactly what that word means Vitality and stealth. Alright, I don't know what all those do. Alright, so block 4 plus defense 5. Iron shield. Transform up to 3 cards. So we'll transform one of those, transform one of those. So you can choose the cards you want to start. You always start out with, uh, it looks like, six. One, two, three, four, five. Five uh, iron shields and one iron sword. Or f uh, five iron swords. I might say, why, why do they even say one? I might say three. Five. Five. Why am I trying to say? All right. Uh... We'll do one more shield minus. Even though now I'm going to have less defense. 
That's not always great to do in these types of deck builder roguelikes. Increase stealth by one for the rest of combat. So what does stealth do? It makes it probably like take less damage or likely to take a hit of damage probably. Attacks projectiles times melee. So projectiles, attack projectiles times melee. All right, so that'd be one right now because my projectiles and melee are only at one. So that's cool because it takes those two stats and then multiply them together. So it's like D&D &D type uh, aspect for that or D&D &D or whatever those. I haven't played those types of games. I don't, I'm not big into that, but uh, lose 10 plus vitality gold 11. All right. Oh, and it tells you how much it is, so you don't even have to add it up yourself. Gain uh, Vitality HP. So Vitality is HP, it looks like. Alright, choose two. Alright, so I want to increase my... Vitality and my gold count then if vitality is health related then i really do want to increase vitality even though i could have chose health oops once you i didn't even read those other two i just clicked on them without reading <laughs> well that's okay once your turn is finished click the end turn button and the enemy's turn will take place uh, well, it just probably said, like, take your turn, and then, then you choose, end your turn. Alright, uh, I can choose, play up to two cards, it looks like. I have two energy. Max energy is determined by the number of cards you have at the start of combat. 11 cards equals 2 energy. 12 plus cards equals 3 energy. Uh, max energy. 23 cards plus cards equals four energy so there's probably out of game progression out of the for this game uh figuring in this so we'll block so that's interesting so you just go upwards and you don't go upwards and then go to your character That's pretty simple. Makes it makes it pretty nice. You don't have to worry about that as much. So yeah, there's no controller support for this. Uh, lose vitality. Thirteen gold, but gain three HP. So. I can actually increase my health and I get to keep those card that card so whenever I get gold now I can actually sell trade in my gold for uh health that's pretty nice all right I didn't take I didn't hit this enemy at all but I'm setting it up increase my stealth by one uh like to know what that does exactly before I play that. Uh, I think we'll just go with melee. Oh. You have to go up and then drag it to the enemy. So it's like Slay the Spire for that. Which always people are going to compare uh, every single cro card roguelike to Slay the Spire. That's uh, pretty much inevitable. There's no getting around that. And so I could increase my health more. Actually, no, I can't because I can't. 
uh, do the cost for the gold. Alright, so we'll just hit with a knife and we'll block a little bit. We're taking some damage, we're taking some damage, but that's okay. Uh, it will be dead this turn. And we get three health. And... Oh. You only get to choose one. I chose health. That's fine. Alright. Gain Vitality Antidote. Three. So Vitality is, I think, configured into, like, health-related and, like, medicine and stuff like that. Arrows do three times damage when bow is equipped. I don't have any arrows. Uh, is there a way to look at my deck? Yeah, there is. Alright, so... That one, Shuriken, takes up a projectile and one melee. So... We'll take the projectile. And now we have two projectile. Now we do two damage with that Shuriken. But I want to increase that more. So what do these do? So I can actually go to the shop, church, or tavern. These are skills. Uh, these numbers directly influence your cards. The higher they are, the more powerful your cards will be. Got it. All right. Uh, these are items. Currently, you have none. All right. Uh, but you will collect them as you go. Gaining items help you in various ways. You can only carry one helmet, uh, amulet, and ring at a time. Got it. Upon up here, you can see the amount of gold and HP you have. All right. I like that. Uh, it it's a pretty good uh, depth e tutorial. But it, I would like to, like, if I hover over one of these, it would read out what those exactly do. That would also be really nice. Uh, and up here is in the top right corner. You can uh, pause the game or view your deck. Oh, that's what that little symbol is. All right. This is the town. You can come here to spend your money and bolster your deck. Try clicking on the shop. All right, let's click on the shop. All right, uh, that's cost a lot of gold. I don't have. Here are here you can buy some buy cards. Hover over, hover over a card to see what it does. Yeah. Words that are purple refer to your skills in the bottom left corner. Alright, nice. So yeah, since you already have this hover over ability, you just put that for uh, when you hover over like melee, projectile, defense, destruction, like, alterization, vitality, and stealth. Uh, just a quick explanation of what each of those do. That would also really help out people. Uh, that's just my feedback. I'll probably do a depthy, uh, like, review type on, uh, actual Steam just this weekend. In increase a chosen skill by the number of gems you have. That's pretty cool. But I don't I can't buy any of these, so what's the point to read all of these? Alright, so we can't really buy any of those. But I bet some of these really are cool. Add two special cards to your deck. Golden Mace and one golden shield. Golden mace. Attacks equal to gold. 
Wow. So yeah, uh, you can build like a gold deck that uh, takes into account a lot of like gold and stuff. Uh, well, whistle it. Well, equipped. Add plus one, plus defense and plus one vitality. Well equipped. Wells. Yeah, it says well. Well equipped. Add one projectile and one stealth. Gain vitality shield. All right. Or shell. Vitality shell. All right. So I gain three vitality. If I get that and attack time three destruction. Wow, that's pretty awesome. That's a card, isn't it? Yeah, that's a card. So ice blast. That sounds pretty awesome. Attack uh, melee times two. Multiply attack by the amount of fire the target has. Wow, that sounds awesome. But a lot of stuff sounds awesome. I don't know if it would implement uh, greatly into my deck. Because I only know what my deck is going to be right now. What does the church do? You can offer one gem and gain a reward. Or offer two gems and remove one card. Alright, so get a reward or uh, remove a card. And then the tavern, I can drink large, uh, it costs 40, but I gain this. So this is where you get, you can increase your skills, but they cost a lot to increase it. 40 gold. All right. So the game just saved. So, four block plus uh, defense. So, what does the block and defense have to do with it? Is it, I'm blocking six. So I would take one damage, right? Increase my stealth for the rest of combat, All right? I took one damage. That shuriken's not good to do right now. And I don't have any defense any right now. Defend one, hit one. And then hopefully you can hit two. Yep. And we'll take gold because I can actually increase my uh, health with that card. So we'll do that eventually. Increase defense by one for the rest of combat. No, we'll do in defense plus one. We'll increase the defense skill by one. So I like that you're giving either an option between cards or its skills, and then you can actually pick how you want to go about it. So I'm just going with the basic deck right now. What's this wizard hat? So this one, I can actually use gems to Well equipped, buy stuff, it looks like, from this wizard, or a witch, it's a little witch. But I can't go back there now, it looks like. So what does this do? This enemy intends to give itself an effect. Alright. Stealth, all 
attacks in your first turn deal plus stealth damage. All right. Locked. And then... Attacked. And then I ran at energy, so we gotta go on now. So we can actually increase our health. And we can actually hit. Oh, I need... It dodged. The enemy dodged. Uh, we'll hit one. Oh, it dodged again. No, that sucks. Dodge, avoid the next attack. Oh. Dang. That really sucked. Because I don't have a lot of health anymore now. Alright, so... We'll just attack now. And then we'll go on. Let's see, and then... Oh, you can just right-click, and it automatically uses it. Alright. So I don't even have to go through the, all that. I can just automatically use it. Oh, can I actually use a scroll? Probably is best to use that right now, because I'm going to die if I don't. And then I get a gem. Alright, we'll take the gem. Oh, now I can go back to the witch. And we can actually buy... Either this helmet... That gives me more melee and destruction. At the start of combat, gain 4 HP. Uh, at the start of combat, apply to static to all enemies. Um, at the start of combat, apply two fire to all enemies. That sounds awesome. I really do like that. That's an amulet. Amulet fire. So instead of relics in this game, you get, uh, items. And so, you only can have three items. I like that concept. Apply... Alterization Gloop 1. Increase a random skill two times per enemy. Destroy. Ooh, that sounds awesome. But that also, uh, costs... ...stuff to use that. Gain some health there, buy lost some gold, and 11 gold to be exact. Lose 25% HP. 75% HP. Wow, I wish I... Got into there before. But... No, if I increase the vitality, that will increase my health if I get that card, but then it will cost a lot more. Melee and destruction. Alright, melee and defense. Melee and defense, let's go. And then... Adds a special card to your deck. Plus one square frisbee. Attack projectiles times projectile. Attack projectile times projectile. So I have two for both of those. That's pretty cool. 
we'll take that then. Alright, so take on an enemy. And if if fatal gain another gem, that's pretty cool. So we definitely need help here. And we'll do the projectile. Oh. I can use more energy now. I forgot about that because now I have more cards. That makes sense. All right, so... We'll just attack a bunch. Hopefully we can kill this before it kills me. Oh, game over. I pretty much chose that 75% health thing and that killed me. That was not a good thing to take. All right, unlock three eggs. I don't have any eggs. I didn't get that far in this run anyways, so... So the, there is out-of-game progression stuff. You have to get eggs uh, to unlock new cards. Well, that's it, it looks like. Alright. So that's interesting and creative. Um... Uh, Let's choose transform. Both of the both of these now. We'll keep more defense. Because defense looks like uh I'm going to be needing defense a lot. And we already got like a silver sword, so it makes more sense to do defense. I like that every card just uh, it takes one energy, it looks like. So you don't have to worry about that that much. Uh, choose one of three random effects. Apply three of the that effect to all enemies. One of three. All right. That could be interesting. That's a card though. Uh, let's increase my health. And we'll increase some melee. Ooh, attack plus melee. Alright, uh... Did, since I used my scroll last time, I lost it now? I can't use it again? Huh. Right. We killed that in pretty much one go. So we can get more gold. And let's see. Should I gain a gem? Gems are pretty good. But also de defense is also really good. But I can also buy some stuff with the gem. So why not? Add a special card to your deck. Lava. All right. Projectiles. My projectiles are was one right now, so that won't do anything really. At the start of combat, gain ten gold. Wow, that's pretty awesome. All right. Uh, let's do the gold one. And I don't have any more gems, so we'll have to return to that later on. Lose all gold, gain three gems. Whoa, no, no thank you. Increase defense by one for the rest of combat. And then we'll just attack. And then increase the chosen skill by the number of gems you have. Destroy self and all gems. All 
right, so I think that's permanent too, that upgrade, which is, that would make sense. Alright. And we killed it. Got some more money. Apply destruction. Alright, let's go with more melee. Or I can increase the damage of that weapon. Alright. Either we can take some more gems. Hmm. Increase a chosen skill by the number of gems you have. We'll take one gem. So we have almost 12. We'll add two gems. Now we have 12. Now we can actually use three uh, cards during combat. But I can also spend money to get it. Increase a random skill two times permanently. I will buy that. And buy this. Because, why not? I'm willing to gamble. Oh wow, I'm probably going to take some damage here. Alright, so I will only be able to use two cards now, it looks like. Oh, nope. It's chosen at the beginning, so if your number goes down, uh, during the combat, uh, that does not count. Sweet. Increase the, by the number of gems you have. Zero. I have zero gems? I thought I have... Oh no, I sold them, I remember. And this sucks, I got all my defense during... If I... I'm going to take 12 damage. But... Can I kill it? And live? Alright, we'll kill it. Because it's just going to keep on taking... Doing damage to me if I don't kill it. And now I'm really insanely low on health and so we definitely need to kill as fast as possible now the stuff these enemies oh it's going to dodge my next attack all right so we would we would not want to use this as our first attack anyways that'd be stupid uh, we need to defend now. We'll do that, and then we'll just kill, because I have no choice. Alright, hopefully we can turn this around. Alright. I'm going to die here, I think. Unless increasing my defense actually... Yeah, will increase my uh, block too. So, we could do that. So block is four plus one defense. Yeah. Uh, let's do that before we don't die here. And then... Hit. And hopefully we can actually pull this off. It's gonna be a miracle if I can. Alright, so all I need is to defend one. 
if I don't kill it right now. All right, we killed it. And I need health, so health. And then definitely want health, but I also want that gem. So we'll pick both of those. And what's this symbol? That's probably like an elite enemy. I can't take that on right now. All right, let's attack. Hopefully you can get another gem out of this. That'd be cool. All right, we could destroy the gem though, but we're not going to. We should probably increase the defense whenever I can. Alright, heal. Definitely want to heal. Oh, I, st I have three energy still. Alright, so... It will just keep on stacking more de dodge if I don't attack it. So I definitely want to attack it. Right. I just don't see how I'm going to live this. Alright, well, I think I have to do this because it's in my way. And we'll increase the melee. Maybe we should increase defense, actually. That probably would have been better. That's okay. We're learning. We're learning. Chilling. Learning. Alright. I can now dodge for a s block for seven. And... Let's just hit and hit to get rid of that effect. And then... Dodge. We'll just dodge completely for I don't die. And we'll hit. Ow, I took some damage there. Alright. That sucks. I was hoping for damage output on that. Alright, my discard's over here, my draw pile's right here. Alright, so we'll hit and hit and hit. Alright, now it only has 10 more health. And then hopefully we can kill it now, because if not, I will be taking tons of damage. And I can't. Dang it. I will block a little bit and we'll hit once. And then hit once and we'll kill it. Alright. Now I definitely want more health because really low in really low on health. And I uh, will take more melee because I'm pretty much have a melee weapon. And that thing's being OP. Oh, this is a boss fight. So we definitely don't want to go there yet. Right, I'll gain one gem. I'm willing to do that. My projectiles is pretty awesome, but as a special card, creates myth. Tality. There's no uh, armor I can buy from that. Oh, I can actually 
do my defense up. We'll do defense up twice. And I guess melee up once. And then we'll also check out the shop. Even though I can't buy anything. Let's see about the armor. Projectiles. Not as great as I wanted. Because that's not what build I'm trying to go for right now. Uh, let's go for the next enemy. And... Try to just do a ton of damage off on it right now. Yeah, so... I think it's 11 cards you need, actually. Alright. Just hit for... It doesn't apply more status effect on top of it, so... And then we'll dodge... As much as I can. It's gonna be a really bad fight. With only having, uh, two damage, it's not enough. Or two energy. That truly is not enough for this fight. It sucks. And I'm dead here. Alright. We die again? Game over? I couldn't do anything. Alright, so... You definitely have to keep a uh, check on what types of cards you currently have. And actually what types of... And this game's kind of loud still. Let's turn down the volume. Let's go with that, and oh, so now we got bow build effect description. Yeah, I want that turned on. Apply destruction fire fatality and projectiles times four. Wow, that's pretty awesome. Even though it's not awesome right now, I think I can outnumber this. Oh, so these actually increase your melee too. Alright. Do some damage. Increase my defense. We'll just dodge. Just to be safe. And then... Attacking projectiles times 2. Times 5 damage if bow is equipped. Wow. That's awesome. Stealth? I entered stealth. Alright, let's see what stealth does again. Alright, we'll take 10 damage there because I didn't block at all. That sucks. Alright, killed it. Increase destruction by 1. Stealth or melee? Let's check out my cards. Increase stealth by one for the rest of the combat. Let's do melee. Because probably melee is going to be good down the road. And now that I need health, I actually do need health. And increase all skills by one in this combat. Alright. 
will attack, block, and probably should have actually increased and then blocked. But I also want to kill it. I don't want it to live for very much longer. I just need to increase my uh, projectile damage. So I have projectiles, a lot of projectiles. Once I can increase that, I'm pretty good and set. Uh, we'll buy gold or get gold projectiles, right? Get that. We'll choose one of those. I don't know exactly what that does. At the start of combat, uh, the start of combat, gain 10 gold. That is pretty good. I do like that. But we definitely want that because we have a projectile item. Now I do 16 damage, and we'll just increase my defense, just to be on the safe side. What sucks about this one is I only have two energy, so there's a, there's a chance I could die on this fight right now. Ooh, nice. Oh. Not nice, because... I got my spear right then, but I actually need it now. Well, I guess we'll block. We'll do the damage that we can. Man... Dodges. The dodge moves sucks. I definitely need more energy. So if we actually live this fight, which I'm hoping that we do, uh, and we don't, because I can't block. All right. Game over, that was a quick run. <laughs> Alright, stage one. Let's go. Can we beat stage one? <laughs> Alright, let's see. That's a lot of figuring out what I want to do and trying to build a deck around that. Attack melee times stealth. It's pretty awesome. Times Three attack if misty. Oh, that's where the mist comes in. Increase all stats by one in this combat. Destroy. It's like great. Apply destruction fire. One. I don't have any projectile stuff. That would have been great if I had the projectile stuff right now. Choose one of three effects. Apply three of those effects to all enemies. And we'll increase my health to 36. And apply destruction fire because I don't know exactly what that does. And I want to see what it does. So it only does it uh, once. But now I actually increased all my stats. And now I can actually do 4 damage with that. And I can actually apply 2 fire now. 
Oh, okay. Interesting, interesting. All right. Let's uh, block once and then we'll attack one more time because we can't kill it. We couldn't kill it that turn anyways. So we'll just block uh, completely and hopefully we can get two hits in a row. Yep. All right. And I'm thinking health. And we increase our defense because defense is pretty. I was underestimating that completely when I was the first few runs. So, lose all gold, gain, or gems. Lose all gems, gain 99 gold. I don't have any gems. I just gained 99 gold. Nice. Uh, choose two. I will get more gold and I will actually get one gem. So what does the deck, how much energy do you need for the deck? I wish I could pull that up. I need a, there should be a way to like pull that up too. Like, this kind of sucks that there is no way to do that, but that's okay. Uh, let's go on then. All right. And I, I said to turn down the game a little bit, sound a little bit, turn it down a tad bit. All right. It was a just a tad bit. All right. Uh, hopefully that sounds good enough. They can actually hear me over the music. The game. We can just attack and defend a little bit. Defend and attack. I'm trying to play it safe. And we'll just defend. If I could get another gem, that would be cool. Go we'll block one. Because we can't kill it anyway. That turn. Ah, oh, I wish I had one blade and one. The one gem. That sucks. Alright, so now I'm just forced to block during that turn. So we'll hit it and kill it. And then. Gain some health because I'm starting to get low on health. Gain a bottle that I can actually gain some health from. And we'll actually go to the tavern and we'll. Increase my defense once. And we'll look at the build. Melee times stealth. Ah. Melee times stealth. So melee comes up a lot. So I'll increase stealth. And we'll actually increase melee then too. Once. Uh, we have 70 gold still. Let's actually look at the shop and see what's in there. Uh, melee and destruction. All right, we'll buy that. And then let's go on to the next enemy. I'm sorry, these pig things, little pigs. Gotta kill the little pigs. All right. So we want to can't block that much. Guess I can heal and block a little bit, but still, it's 
pretty much brings me back to 29, 28 health. Ow. If I don't block, it would hurt. Like, a lot. I should have actually used that little knife thing. Alright. Does destruction fire go through the shield? I wonder. Yeah. Uh, so the fire actually takes effect after combat, and the shield goes away. Nice. Melee times stealth. We can actually use that too. Man, I'm. Game's not that easy, but I definitely want to play this some more. There is some mechanics I do wish that there was, like. Another option for like changing volume and stuff. Definitely that is needed. But I will be playing this again and again. This will be the last run for this video. But I will definitely be playing this game again. Um. So, we just have to pretty much attack, but we're, I think we're dead here, because no matter what I do, I'm dead, pretty much. I can't block, can't do enough damage that would actually jeopardize it. shield and we'll apply destruction fire but I'm dead ah all right well that was interesting and this game probably takes a lot of time to learn and uh I'm just not building the deck correctly it looks like but I'm really trying to focus on defense right now uh, and because defense is super unrated, underrated, I, I took it for advantage. And so I didn't really take defense last time, but hey, if you do like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. Uh, and if you want to try playing some uh, Mage Mountain, then I highly recommend it. It's a pretty cool game. And I wish you luck. And it's on Steam. It's a pretty like hidden gem type game. It's cool like mechanics. It's not like Slay the Spire that you pick the path to. So I like that. Uh, and also you get like skills. Those skills are pretty awesome. A lot of cool little mechanics that I haven't seen in other card uh, deck builders. Or roguelike deck builders, at least. Maybe there's other deck builders like this, but roguelike deck builders. Alright, see you in the next video. Alright, bye.